Today we're doing nasi champur at a place called Dapur Sanur. Nasi champur, basically some rice with some bits around it. And this is one of those ones that you can choose your own dishes. So they've got a big display case with a large range of dishes where you can choose what you want. The good thing about this sort of style of eating is that if you're a little bit worried about the food, you can make sure exactly what you want is on your plate. You don't have to sort of leave it in the hands of the gods, you choose. Let's get inside and check out what they've got. So there are three styles of rice here. There's white, yellow and red, and then all of these dishes. These are all your sambals at the top. Up here you have some side dishes like the corn fritter. That's a potato fritter. That's fried tempeh, fried tofu, some fried chicken legs, a little bit of an omelette, some chicken legs here that seem to be done in some sort of soy sauce. And then just a larger range of array of dishes like that one looks like a good spicy eggplant, like uh, I think they would call it uh, terong balado, mixed veg. Uh, like a jackfruit curry, I think, down the back there. Chup chai up the back there. That's just a shredded chicken with chili in it. Oh, there's all sorts of different things here. Uh, that is an egg with chili on it. Lots of chili here, so it's going to be spicy. Bloody yeah. Uh, I am a uh, swear. Tempenya, yang ini. And would you look at that? Now that is a feast, absolute feast. So we've got two drinks, one esteruk, which is an iced orange juice, and an estejaje, basically an iced tea with ginger and lemon, not orange. So that's lemon, ginger, tea. This is an iced orange drink so let's give them a go no straws which is nice that they're keeping the environment at the forefront of their minds okay straight into the orange mm. it's not artificially sweetened they give you a little a jug here of uh, sugar syrup if you want to add more sugar i don't need more sugar it's a little bit sweet and it's sweet enough for me it's got the orange flavor really nice this is your, um, I mean, this thing here is the, the ginger iced tea with lemon in it, and it's got big chunks of ginger in it, which I love. Oh, that's really refreshing. It's not sweet at all, really, uh, but you can taste the lemon, you can taste the ginger, and you can taste the tea, beautiful. So let's talk about what we've got here. You've got yellow rice and you've got three choices between red, yellow and white, like the yellow. We have a kachombrang sambal and kachombrang, I think in English it's torch ginger. We have ayam suwir, which is shredded chicken with um, chili bits mixed through it, that'll be spicy. We've got some stir fried tempeh, which has got chili stirred through it. We have a jackfruit curry or gulai nanka, which is yeah, beautiful. It looks like meat, but it is not. It is jackfruit, a young jackfruit. We've got some terong balado. I think it's terong balado. Basically, it's eggplant with sambal again. It's going to be spicy. And we have a percadel, which is a, a percadel kentang, which is a, I don't know, mashed potato cake type thing. They're beautiful. So let's get stuck in. Now, first off, start with the am sword here. Mmm. That's nice. Do a bit of that jackfruit there. It's really looks good. Mm. If you've never tried jackfruit before in a curry, you should try it. It's, it's a really beautiful dish. Uh, the texture is a bit like meat, really. It's, it's not weird, it looks weird, but it's definitely a fruit then it's fantastic in a curry. Try some of the stir fried tempeh and um, I think it might even be tofu in there as well. Mm. That is a flavor explosion. Oh, that's really good. Uh, tempeh and tofu is really good. I'll give some of this eggplant a go. You get a fairly big portion of um, each one of these. So you pay 
based on what you order. There's a little price list down the front that shows you if you order some eggplant, how much it's going to cost, like 5000 7000 10000 Some of the meat dishes are going to be more expensive. Mm. Oh, that's so good. I'll mix a bit of the uh, sambal kachonpang in. Oh yeah, very fragrant. The sambal kachonpang is very spicy. All these other ones have a bit of spice to them. They're not killer. Sambal is a killer. And then we'll go to this percadel. It's basically mashed potato, seasoned and deep fried. That's basically what it is. And that's really good too. The great thing about this style of eating is that you can have as much or as little as you want depending on how hungry you are and depending on what your tastes are. So you can always come to a place like this and find something that you're, you're pretty happy with. It's simple food, it's cheap, it's local, and it is super, super delicious. Now this place is located in the very southwest of town. So you get to that southern roundabout and then head west down Jalandano of course, really far along, almost towards the bypass really. And once you get there, um, you'll find this little uh, waddle. You're gonna need transport to get here from most places in Sanur because it is quite far away. But if you're staying close by, maybe a kilometre from somewhere like Cambodia Homestay or from the roundabout, it's probably one and a half k's, I'd say, or maybe a k from a kilometre from the roundabout. It's pretty far, it's not dead central, but it's worth coming out of your way for. This place is not air conditioned. There are a few fans. I'm sitting out the front. They've got a couple of tables out the front, right next to the, the main road. It is fairly hot, but you do get a bit of a breeze coming through, which is nice. It's cleaner than your average local warong. Like it gives you a vibe of, hey, these people care about hygiene, which is nice to know as well. The food has been cooked this morning. Uh, it may not be warm by the time you get it, but that's okay if it hasn't been sitting there for too long. I think most of you will be pretty okay with this standard of hygiene of, of the food, I would say. Aside from the nasi champua, you can also order a range of dishes such as nasi goreng, bubur, manado, and a few other things as well if you want something freshly cooked and you're not really interested in picking from the window there. So for two people, for two big meals, really big filling meals and two drinks, it was 124,000. Oh, we also got an ice cream. And there's no tax or service added on top, which is really great. It's certainly not the cheapest food in town, but it is cheap. It's not cheapest because some of the Warungjala Morosanung would be a little bit cheaper. But this is certainly probably, I would say, a bigger portion than you get at many places for the price. Good value, very good value. So it's something you definitely need to check out if you're into local food and you want something a little bit cheaper. Another fantastic local food place on the Sanua scene. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with all things to know. I'll catch you next time.